Shalom. Assalamu alaikum. Look at this. I got a, a warning violation. Um, they say that my comment that I made or my video I made was hateful or criminal activity. Wait a minute, fucking TikTok. Wait the fuck a minute. Now I want everyone to understand. This is what I said. I go on TikTok to debate people like God Logic, Ali Dawa, Sam Shimon, all these so-called men of renown, these big wigs who have all these followers. And they sit there and they spread misinformation. In fact, they call my grandfather... Foul names. They call him a pedophile and everything fucking else in the book. Everybody knows this shit. And it's based, their logic and understanding of truth is based on something that's written about somebody by somebody else. And the man's dead. He's not even alive to defend himself against such accusations that all these fucks are throwing around. So I get on uh, TikTok to make a video. And all I do, I swear, all I said was, I need 1,000 subscribers so I can fucking debate these donkey-ass fucking jerk-offs once and for all and shut their fucking kafar mouths. And, the re and, then I, and then in it I state, and the reason that I go on there and I said, and I, in the video I was telling them, explaining to them, because these motherfuckers, when I go on there, I make a comment. And they don't like the truth of the comment that I tell them. So they ban me or block me from being allowed to comment anymore in their stupid fucking app live fucking stream. So I said, give me 1,000 followers so I can go live and debate or make my own live channel and have people come to me. And I said, when that takes place, you pieces of shit, your followers will all come to me. You won't have any more followers. You won't be able to profit or make money anymore off TikTok because nobody's going to follow you. Everybody's going to realize that all these fucking men of renown that they have created in algorithms are nothing but a bunch of fucking liars. You're not going to donate your money anymore to a fucking liar once I show myself and prove that these fucking assholes are liars, right? So I said just these. Maybe I cussing words and stuff like this. But I told them and I said, the only other thing I said was, they don't want me to go live because if I were to go live with them, I would crumble them like fucking cookies. They'd be like cookies and they would crumble under their theologies and ideologies of their teachings. That's all I put in my video on TikTok. And they blocked it and banned it. I mean, I'm not lying, everyone. Here it is. Where am I threatening? I'm not threatening anyone. I'm threatening that you're a misinformation jerk off and you need to stop your bullshit lying and stop spreading your foul, radical bullshit. And let people hear another side to the story, a truth side to the story of religion and indoctrinations and, and books and prophets and whatever else they want to know. Let the truth come out. Oh, but they don't want that because see, all these Nakash won't be able to profit anymore. And then the world wake up. They'll be like, fuck these motherfuckers. Nobody going to give them money, or watch their videos or help them anymore. And then it crumbles the corporation. You see what I'm saying to everyone? I literally, they don't want me around because I literally crumble their corporation. Because if I don't allow advertising on my channel, I don't want you to promote me, you fucking corporations. I don't need you to promote me. They have nobody to pay for them and they'd go bankrupt. The only thing else they'd be able to play is all the dumb perversion that they fucking play. You've seen tic TikTok's full of fucking foul, perverted people. I'm telling you, even their religious debates are foul and perverted and stupid and ignorant. I've been on all of them, at least commenting, try to. But every time I leave a comment, the, the person that's running the live stream blocks me from commenting anymore because they don't want they don't want people to see the truth because I shut them down. I don't care what name you come in, whether you claim to be a Jew, a fucking Muslim, a fucking Christian, a Hindu, a Buddha. I don't give a fuck about your religion. If you're lying, I expose you as the liar that you fucking are. 
point fucking blank. I don't need to hear your bullshit rattle out of your fucking yapper about nonsense. He said, she said shit. If it ain't part of the living life of our attribute of our life that we can fully understand, then you're nothing but a heretic. A asshole lying fucking heretic. Fact. That's a fact. No one in the scholarly fields wants to hear this because they don't, they have egos. So they don't want to be wrong. And when they find themselves wrong, oh shit, Moses didn't turn sticks into snakes. Oh shit, I just destroyed Constantinople and Istanbul of the mainstream of where their theologies derive from. If their interpretations are wrong, how, el what else and how much more? Is their fucking dead man grave corrupted? Think about that. But they don't want me. They ban it. Look, they ban it. They block, They ban me. They give me a warning. It's a warning. So I've seen a lot of their videos that are way vulgar than just what I say. But because I, they know, the reason they do it is because they know, holy shit, this guy could literally bankrupt TikTok. Because our platform is basically about debating and arguing over dumb shit that they do. If a guy shows up and gives a fucking truth, no more can these guys create shows or activities that, that use um, advertisements to promote them. And the advertisers will leave them because they know shit, they're lying. Where you can, how can we back a liar? The, the whole thing, the whole system crumbles. The world hates me because of this. You understand now? No one likes me because of this reason. Only those who are no God and are truth and following the truth, even when you step into the light and you know that the light exposes even yourself, but you still, you repent, you still understand that concept you're good. You're a good person. You're a good-minded woman or man. You know the truth, even though the truth exposes you as a sinner. But you don't care because you know the truth of the salvation. These other guys, they're fakes. And I don't care what dead man grave they're in. They're all fakes. And they don't like the true light because it exposes their deeds and works as wicked asshole fucking men. And women. It's a fact. So, here it is again. They block me, they block me, they ban me, they ban me. This is like I say, I don't think that I can ever, I can try and try and I'll try and try until eventually, you know, they, they just completely take me down or violate me completely because they say that the things that I say are hateful. How, how am I being hateful? It's the truth. The truth hurts. Isn't that, isn't that in our society when our society says the truth hurts, don't it? But yet when I give the truth, it hurts you too much. So you got to ban me. That's the facts. That's the fucking facts. So I'll do whatever I can on the apps. I could give up. Like I said, I don't give a fuck about these apps. They're ran by corporations of all these shareholders who are all part of the fucking evil problem to begin with globally, globally. So I'll do whatever I can, but I'm, I'm telling everyone, I don't think I'll be able to rise in the manner that people would like me to until the darkness comes upon the earth. And when the darkness comes, then God will be able to shine a light in the world through me and use me so people will understand a greater truth. So I, in the meanwhile, I can try, but I don't believe it's going to take off. I'm hoping it does. If people follow and do this and help me out, maybe it will. But, but you see how algorithm, you see how these people who control information and knowledge actually work. They're wicked fucking people. That's why sometimes I, I can't wait till a civil war takes place so I can go after these wicked, evil fucking men, not just in my words, but physically come after you. There is no law and order in civil and war. Fuck you, clowns. You hide behind your computer and your technology thinking you run shit. You don't run shit. You see what I'm trying to explain to everyone? Your manipulations and all their bullshit will cease from existing anymore when reality slaps you right across the face.
fucking mouth, you joke of a rich fucking man. And uh, we shall see. Like I say, all we have is to wait. We shall see. We shall see. But I don't give a fuck about these people anymore. I literally never have and never will. Nor will I ever join anyone's fucking religion. And now you know why. You clearly understand why. And I also understand why people leave religions and want nothing to do with them. I understand that as well. But understand this. Don't ever leave the king. Don't ever leave the king. Leave their foul ass dead man grave. But never ever leave the king and his word. Cling to it. It's what will save your life and your soul. Shalom. Assalamu alaikum. Peace be with you.